Hello everyone and welcome to the video of our round one year-end tournament. This is the FGOC's year-end tournament where um, throughout the year, based on different um, rounds we play, tournaments we play in, our points get added into the system that Tyler runs. No idea how he does it, but it ends up being a bracket system over here. And as you can see right here, we have the matchups which was shown in most of the player profiles that we got done. Um, Garrett here, rank one. Don't listen to these ranks, like right, the numbers right here, they're not. It's just how I had to do it to make this bracket work in like the way I wanted it to. So the numbers mean nothing except for Garrett's one. Um, Garrett was facing Job, who is currently in last place. So that is a, that's a round one matchup. Tyler was facing Judah. Who was in 11th? HG was facing Johnny, who was in 10th. I, who was in, who am in fourth, was facing Steven, who was in eighth. Uh, sorry, that's ninth. Daniel was facing Gabe, who was in eighth, and Micah was facing Ian, who was in seventh. So, round one was kind of crazy. We were playing at Justin Trails in Sparta. And of course, the day before when we all got down like to that area, it was sunny, beautiful, perfect. But then Saturday, it rained all day. Constant with like maybe just a few let ups here and there. But other than that, nothing but rain. So it kind of sucked. But we, nevertheless, we still got it done. So let's start with our first matchup here. Garrett versus Job. That was a matchup that I mean, nobody knows how these matchups are going to go there. There definitely could be upsets in the rankings. But other than that, it was it was a good normal round um, in this thing here. Job started out strong. He was within one or two strokes of Garrett through like the front nine, I believe. Keep in mind, we played two courses that day. We played the classic layout for Justin Trails, which is, I think, known as like Little Brother. And then we played Big Bro, which is a huge course. Um, there's a lot of like, m it seems like mountain climbing, but it's really fun. So yeah, Job held on for quite a while there. And then eventually um, the gap started growing between them because Garrett's rank one really came out and he started, he started playing pretty good and, and you know, gaining on Job. So in this one, Garrett took it down, moved on to round two. In the second matchup, Tyler versus Judah, right out of the gate. I know Tyler wasn't expecting too much since Judah just joined our league literally like a month ago or something. Um, but right out of the gate, hole one, Judah throws in, I believe it was a birdie yeah he threw in a birdie from over like 90 feet or something like that, 60 to 90 and Tyler could only take down the par on this one and through like the first nine maybe maybe first 18 I'm not too sure they were within one stroke so Tyler the four-time champion was very close with the new member Judah but at the end of the day big brother took its toll and the veteran came out on top Tyler moved forward into round two. HG and Johnny here. This was an insane matchup. We weren't ready for it. We definitely were not ready for it because there was a lot of ups and downs with this one, but I believe the rain really got a hold of HG and just could not let the release happen right. It was always, it was, you know, all of us were suffering from it, early releasing, I don't think there was many late releases, but it was usually just early because it's so slippery. You could not keep anything dry. My entire disc bag was soaked. I was wearing a jean jacket um, because I forgot to bring a rain jacket. And that was soaked for about a month after, even though it's only been a couple of weeks. But this one here was crazy. They were close. They were far apart. They closed gaps. They built gaps, but it was insane. And at the end, this is rank three right here. HG is rank three. 
at the end of it, the winner became Johnny, rank 10, came out and upset the field. Now, it happens this way. I mean, nothing on HG. Johnny performed in the rain. HG wasn't able to perform in the rain. I've been there plenty of times. The weather really gets to you and it makes it hard. And once you're on that downhill slope, it's pretty hard to climb back up, especially since it's muddy. But Johnny moved on to round two, which big congrats on that. So the next matchup is myself versus Steven. I was honestly very scared about this because as I said in my interview or my player profile, Steven is dangerous. He plays for fun. He doesn't care about moving on. He just plays for fun, and that's how he does good. This one was pretty close. I believe at the end of the front nine, he was ahead of me by one stroke. Right there, I was battling the Great Collapse because it was wet. I mean, I was still throwing pretty good. I was making up pars, but like, it, he was getting in my head just by being there. That's what I said in the interview. It was really scary, and I was mentally battling myself all day long. But after that, I started slowly taking the lead and growing a large gap. And until the end of Big Brother, where I finally sealed the victory and moved on. But Steven put up quite a fight, and he was very encouraging to me the whole time, which I know that is part of his... Um, what you might call it strategy he's gonna be nice to me so i destroy myself but the next matchup was daniel versus gabe this is a classic one whenever they go at each other it is a good match that day was a very long day and a lot of climbing i think we got like 12 miles of walking in and a lot of uphill so this one was crazy they were going at each other Daniel is actually tied for the lead overall with me for a while. I mean, he was uh, like two strokes ahead at the end of the 12th hole on the first 18. But then I, I pulled ahead on that one. But Daniel and Gabe fought hard. But by the end of the day, Daniel pulled through and took the victory there and moved on to round two. So here we have these players right here but we still have one more matchup and this is a different like i've only made it to round two before by winning a losers bracket but this year since we had 12 players there was no losers bracket to make up good numbers like proper numbers we're gonna have six going into round two so no losers bracket no second chances here i made it in legitly like not going through a losers bracket Johnny made it in, a big upset. Tyler and Garrett, we expected them to make it in because they're top ranks and they play a good game. Daniel made it in, he's usually always in round two. So it was it was a toss up there between Gabe because Gabe has really worked on his game this year and he, he actually looked very dangerous. But um, I think Big Brother took his toll. Took its toll, my bad. But anyway, on to Micah and Ian, this is crazy. Here's the Prodigy, as as written in our little FGOC magazine, made by HG himself up here. Um, the title was Ian, the Prodigy, versus Micah, the guy who loves Prodigy. Micah like has a full bag of Prodigy discs. It, he's, he's converted fully. But this matchup was kind of crazy because we, Micah is consistent. He's Dr. Professor Super Smooth Man. And then Ian here is the prodigy, he has a lot of power and just a wide array of skills. He can forehand, backhand, every kind of hand. But the rain really got to Ian on this one. He fought hard, he really battled that great collapse, but the rain was just too much for his style of throwing and it, it wouldn't let him get the grip that he needed. He tried to adapt, we all saw it, and he, he was starting to do better. But at that point, Maiko is just a little too far ahead and sealed the deal to move on to round two. So here we have it. This is where we are right now. Round two is gonna be played and it's gonna be insane. We don't know what's gonna happen. 
what do you guys think? I want predictions. I want lots of predictions. Let's see what goes on. We got Garrett here. Garrett actually will be facing Johnny in this one. These these are a little mixed up. Remember, I just I just started making the little bracket. But Garrett is facing Johnny in round two. Tyler is facing Micah in round two. And Daniel is facing me in round two. So let's get some predictions here. It's a little crazy. It's a little wild. But we're going to see which three people move on to the finals, which we played at Blue Ribbon Pines in Minnesota. So thank you very much for watching. Let's get to it. Let's get round two going and let's see who moves on. You know what? This year, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. We're going to hopefully be crowning a new champion. And let's just let's see how it plays out. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe and like, and we'll catch you later. Peace.